Hey guys, this is Mike here and here we go, the Nexus 6 again. Um, in today's video, we are going to actually show you the way how you're going to flash the latest Android 9 Pie Lineage OS 16 into the Nexus 6. Uh, this is one of, still one of the best phone um, I like. I actually like it even until today. I think I just like the size of it and everything else. So let's just put it up. Okay, the case. This is a Spigeon case and this is still one of my favorite case that's available for this phone itself and actually all the other phones. Uh, let's just admire the beauty of the Nexus 6 itself. I still like the Nexus 6 a lot even until today. Um, I still think that it's, it's a pretty nice decent phone, right? So of course the end of the day, um, these, these are the stuff that is available here. This is running on the niche at this time. So okay, before we start, so let's just do something quickly. What is the preparation that you need to do? So uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you have uh, this running on Android 7 Nougat now, the previous one that I've uh, installed. Um, so ultimately, what you want to do is to click on the build date, uh, build number to enable the wrapper option. Okay, now you have enabled it, so you need to go back to the wrapper options. Then uh, make sure that you have OEM unlocking enabled. Boot loader is already unlocked. So if you don't, then you need to enable this as well as the Android debugging. So once you have these two things done up, you are ready to go. So uh, the first thing is to plug the device into your PC. Okay, so basically when you launch the um, computer with ADB installed and stuff like that then when you actually plug in the thing to your computer um, the, you should have this thing appear then you should always allow it and click on OK so once you have everything there we'll move on to the PC for the rest of the setup OK so uh, before you start you need to make sure you have ADB installed uh, I've already had minimal ADB passport installed so I'll leave a link down below where you can install it so the first thing you need to do is to check whether the device is connected so ADB devices, the device is connected. So when that is done, what you want to do next is make sure you back up everything on your phone because the flashing process will clear off everything on your phone because we are upgrading the version. So what you need to do is to do an ADB reboot, boot loader. So that will boot your phone into fast boot mode. So you just wait for that to happen. So once you're in fast boot mode, you just do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected as you can see now it's connected so uh, what you need to do next is to actually do an unlock so if you like my device is re unlocked so so it's fine but uh, for your case if you want to unlock you just do a fast boot OEM unlock right like what I said is that um, for me mine is really unlocked so that's why they have this kind of options here so what you want to do is to make sure that you have the uh, or allow we yeah, unlock in the bell options and stuff that is something that you need to do right so once you do that they will normally factory reset your phone and it will get rebooted and stuff like that so what you need to do is just to get back to the once you have uh, reset everything and get back to the uh, uh, android itself then you just need to reboot back into fast boot mode to continue with the process so let's just do that and when you are done please come back to the screen itself Okay guys, once you are done with uh, coming back to fast boot mode, so what you want to do now is... Uh, okay, start uh, doing the flashing stuff. So first you want to navigate to your, to your directory that you have all your stuff ready. For me it's Nexus 6. Then um, when you go see what is inside, I have all my old lineage and stuff, and all, all these things. So these are the lineage OS I need and this is the tour. TWRP that I need to update, the latest one, and also the GApps Nano that I'm gonna install for Android 9, right? So, what you're gonna do next is to do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected, then do a fast boot slash recovery uh, TWRP 310 Shamo. Okay, that's the one. So, you have done. Flashing the recovery. So what you want to do next is to boot to recovery. So you do a fast boot. Boot. 
recovery, uh, vote TWRP, recovery 3.3.1, right? Is that correct? Uh, no, actually it's wrong. We need to do a fast boot. Flash, recovery, TWRP. We needed a 3.3.1. It's the one. Yep, that is done. So, fast boot. Boot. TWRP 3.3.1, right? Oh, yeah, I put the wrong one, but doesn't matter. I think it should be fine. Um, let's just get on to the phone for the setup. Okay, as you can see now, we have been booted to TWRP. Like for my case, because I booted in the wrong version, so I can actually do a reboot to recovery again. Then they will get booted again into the one recovery that I flashed. So we will just need to wait until the recovery get flashed, uh, get booted up. So this one is the actual 3.3.1, the latest version of TWRP that's available here. So um, because the file is not in there now, so when you're in this mode, what we're going to do over there will be to push in the Linux OS as well as the GApps into the phone itself. So let's just get on to the PC. Hey guys, so once you have booted into recovery mode, you can check with ADB, uh, ADB devices to ensure device is connected via recovery. So once it's done, what you need to do is to push the file in. You can do ADB push. The niche, we need the 16 version, which is 16. And this is not the latest one. We need the one in June. So this is the one that we're going to push in. So we just press enter. Uh, sorry, I forgot out e slash sd card. So you'll just push in and wait for the push to complete. Okay, so once you have done doing that, you'll do an ADB push now for the G apps. Uh, open. G apps nano Android 9. Uh, this is the correct one. So we'll just uh sorry, forget about the slash SD card again. Okay. And just push that in also. Once it's done, we'll move on to the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, we have the two files pushed into the device itself. So now, I think the PC part is done. We'll move on to the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, uh, we have the correct GF version in. So like what you see, now we have another one for the ARM 9. This is the older version of the machine. So uh, device, so I don't think you can use the ARM 64. So now what we'll do is just put a lineage and more zips and put a GF nano for ARM. Not 64 version and just swipe to confirm flash. So what you're going to do now, the system will be flashing. So you just need to wait for the flashing process to complete and you should have Linux installed in no time. Okay, seems like the installation is completed. So normally what we'll do after that will be wipe the big cache. So when that is wiped, you can just go reboot system and do not install and wait for the process to complete. It will be booting into the NHOS. Okay, seems like the phone is gets has already get rebooted and started so you can just do a start for those who have issues booting up the NHOS then you might consider booting the recovery and do a format on your data itself those um, they might have issues so what you're gonna do is to uh, just skip everything continue next um, this location I don't think I understand anything just accept uh, not now skip anyway Next, start. So here goes the familiar kind of like Linux OS wallpaper, default one that they start off with. And you are now running on Android 9. So, for example, I'm going to change my wallpaper, just changing something that I like. 
this is not my this wallpaper is not something that I fancy the most. Um, maybe just choose something which is uh, nicer. What do you think? Um, yeah, maybe I'll just do the chaos. This one looks okay. Home screen, lock screen, or both. We done. Go. Nope. Okay, we are. So anyway, um, the response itself, of course, is not like super slow or anything, but um, you can't actually compare to the current flagship. It's not as fast, definitely. Um, as you can see now, it's running on um, our phone. That's just it's running on Android Nine. Great. So that's that's all I have for today, guys. So this is how you actually flash the new Show S16. And uh, like I said, this phone is still a beauty up to today. I think I still like it very much a lot. And I think if you are not looking for any flagship and you want a decent phone to be used, big screens, camera is also, but uh, big screens and uh, it serves the purpose and still running on the latest Android version, then you might consider this a go. I think you can get this very cheaply at this point of time. I don't know, maybe around 50 US and stuff, or maybe lower. I don't know, um, depends on the deal you can get. Unless you're looking at the new one. So that's all for today's guys. If you like the video I'm making, do subscribe to my channel and ding the notification bell for any future update. And um, I'll go now. Bye.